for me one of my favorite brands in london if anything you know what it is it, it, it's sort of like um a uk version of of our legacy i'll say in that regard um it's a little bit more eccentric has a little bit more quirkiness to it which is again relating more so towards the theme of london right london fashion week if, if one of the big best things about london fashion week is the fact that you just see lots of crazy shit hurled down a runway uh people go a bit nuts of, of course some of it isn't the best some of it might not be the most commercially viable but i like the fact that we're so creatively free we're kind of untethered and we sort of like fly by the seat of our pants and you kind of see that reflected a little bit in our streetwear for the most part some of our best brands are the ones that kind of take the most chances and kind of you know go, uh, try and push the envelope as much as they can with form factors that are, are a bit you know a bit safe a bit dull but they try their best to kind of push stuff a bit forward so we've got this amazing brand i'm a big fan of called arise uh, aries i've got put here on the screen um on the left, you've got Spring Summer uh, 20 lookbook. You've got uh, it with a pink and a yellow background. So different lookbooks, different backgrounds, I'm assuming. I had to look through it earlier, but just going to quickly go through some of the pieces I think of of interest that I really, really liked. And per usual, if you're listening to the podcast app and you can't see none of this stuff, I'll link it in the notes below so you'll be able to check it out yourself. So yeah, um, again, I'm, I like what they're offering. They obviously stepped up the levels of stuff that they're offering in the range of their... So they've stepped up the amount of items they've got in their collection. I remember the first or pieces yeah the first few seasons i remember there wasn't that many pieces in the collection overall a lot of the stuff looked a bit cut and sew a little bit handmade a little bit rough around the edges but i like the ideas i like the patterns i like the textures i like the materials i just like the the fact that some of it was super wacky they had some great track suits um and stuff that i was very much interested in and i think they had the sample cell recently too so i'm sure that sample cell was full of loads of real um archival gems from back in the day or from um past pieces that i'm sure a lot of people would have been a big fan of so far the biggest thing i've seen worn on the streets from aries arise how you ever pronounce it from this company is um the no no problemo sweatshirt t-shirt jumper whatever top that's that's been i see that's the most thing i've seen someone wear i've seen a girl wear the one of their fleeces before as well and that's about it but i think that no problemo shirt and obviously the the logo the script logo in the in their kind of um house font is something you've seen people wear often as well but again i think it's a very underrated brand a brand that i think should be getting a lot more love especially in london especially considering the stuff that they make um on the left we have quite a nice little starter hat here a nice crop jacket we've got another shirt here the dude's wearing it on the right hand side and get the screen contrast up um we've also got a nice um jumpsuit here that's been jumpsuits i'm seeing being worn everywhere Freedom and I actually bought one recently and I've seen a few more boys wearing them. Um, I know girls have, you know, long been heralding the fact that jumpsuits are, you know, the easiest way to kind of cheat on your wardrobe. And also if you're a girl and you're not that comfortable wearing stuff that's a bit more revealing or you're not really, you know, I don't know, you're, you're in a hashtag fat month, right? Or fat week, a jumpsuit. Uh, worn the right way cinched at the waist can really make you look a lot more hotter than you actually feel inside in it so it's a great cheat i guess for guys it doesn't really have that same level of effect unless you want to you know show your bum and make sure people know your gains that you're been achieving with your squats and your heavy deadlifts but for the most part i also think it's just a great way to kind of cheat on your outfit as a dude you put on a nice jumpsuit on you throw on a big overcoat a, a pair of vans or a pair of new balances and off you go do you know what i mean the only issue is that when you go to the toilet you literally have to strip naked right to go to the toilet you have to take off all your clothes <laughs> in order to make it work um which might be a bit of an effort especially considering you know how reckless lads can be when they are urinating or doing a number two in a toilet um on the left hand side you have his boots i'm not sure if this is a new introduction to their collection whether it means they're going to make their own shoes or if it's a collaboration but i like the look of them i also like the look of the briefs or the underwear um so you've got the script logo running across striped design i quite like the look of that i'm not sure what it's going to look like of course you've got a no problem with shirt that's something they're going to carry on um of course we've got another look at the boots here from the front they don't look too nice i'm gonna be honest i think from the they look better from the side profile and looks just sold in a red line uh but again i'm happy they're expanding their collection i'm not too sure what this is is this the boxer shorts or is that just like a strap it's on script all around it i like how it's stitched on the waist great little styling cube i wonder what that is i wonder if that's something they're gonna sell if this is like a little styling thing um, I like the fact that they're always going for these sort of like stonewashed jeans. That's their sort of like staple in their collections too. Which is weird, isn't it, to think about it. Like an upside brand, the thing that you know about them mostly 
is a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. It's not really the most, it's not really the thing that people tend to go for the first time when they first start a collection. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Acne when they started, right? They were known about, they were mostly known for their jeans. And then they sort of like, you know, if you look at our Acne's Ready to Wear collection now, you would never think they were known for their jeans, isn't it? Because they just do everything and everything under this, anything and everything under the sun for the most part. But I like the fact that they're always kind of putting in these stonewashed jeans. And of course, their fleeces have become super popular the last few seasons. Fairly well priced, uh, very well put together from the stuff that I've seen when I touched it in hand. Um, you've got here some nice kind of, af- what do you call it? Athlete, athlete wear or underwear? We call it underwear for the most part, right? Crop top, long sleeve with some nice briefs as well. Again, I like the script on top. Hopefully, they make these in for dudes as well. Uh, in boxer shorts, I think these look pretty cool. Uh, with the band on the top oh so they got that kind of band on the top of the underwear made into like a dress sort of thing which looks really interesting again probably not for a lot of people but i like it the tracksuit on the right here looks incredible it's sort of like a burgundy it's sort of like a two-tone burgundy with purple i'm not sure what material that is that's like nylon or something it's got this really nice crinkly look on it and uh logo script is kind of screen printed on the right hand side sort of like similar to football letters or vinyl lettering on the side of the pants i love that and of course tie-dye socks that look is really nice you got a nice and again i like the fit of their blanks a nice sort of like over is that over dyed sort of like top with a little logo on the pocket nice boxy fit i'm not too sure if the necklace is going to be part of their collection either but that looks really interesting i like that um and again you've got this little what's this what would you call that apron sort of dress sort of thing um, I like this little top here too with the combat pants look really nice I'm not going to look, look at those combat pants that shirt is really cool is it Rylon whatever that material is called those kind of like bowling shirts but I like the jack that uh, those pants I'm not sure if that grey New Balance is part of their collection but the, their, their previous New Balance was so good that that was very very much underrated you remember that I think it was a 991 right I'm pretty sure it's 991. Let me see if I can quickly find it and put it up on the screen. But I'm pretty sure that was one of my fave collaborations from last year, actually. Um, right? New Balance, right? I think it was a 991. It came in two colors, mostly yellow. Um, both models are banging. Or oh, well, yellow and white, so I spoke too soon. And there was some clothing included in it, too. So here it is here on the screen. Um, yeah, a new balance 999, 991. Sorry, they're available still now. I think you can probably get them if you look around and probably still have them. Is that true? And have them? What size do they have them in? Because I'm on a bit of a new balance kick at the moment. Oh, really? They've got them in? No way, they've got the full size run. That's insane. What happened there? They've got a full size run of these shoes. I wonder if they must have sold out beforehand. I'm not too sure. Maybe they did, didn't it? Okay, let's just. I'm gonna I'm gonna add this into my bookmarks because you know I, I've wanted a pair of these for a while. These are really really nice. Okay, fair enough. They've got okay, so they've got the yellow pair available now on um, end clothing if you're around and if you're willing to purchase them. I wonder if they got them yet. The other colorway too. The white colorway is really nice. This one too. Yeah, they got this as well. How can they got this still available? It's interesting. Okay, this does, this is not so. This is the most popular color, the white pair. Um, understandable i guess because it's probably the the, the pair is probably the most wearable uh for most people I would, i'd assume the yellow probably might be a little bit more harder to wear with your outfits and stuff but i like the nuttiness of the actual um yellow pair but yeah they're really nice some branding on the inside of the insole and that's about it it looks like right nothing else maybe on a tongue no don't have it on a tongue okay that's about it really it's like a classic co- collaboration just branding on the insole that was what they used to do back in the day they didn't usually give you any sort of like you know surface area to put your name anywhere else anybody could put it was on the inside which that no one saw but i guess the colorway itself can you know pop out at least everyone will know that this isn't some normal collaboration but yeah i like the look of that i'm not sure if this is actually a collaboration itself but yeah again big fan of it of course that fleece hoodie is banging that t-shirt is that a t-shirt pop, popped into some trousers here is that looks a t-shirt with that logo with the sort of like um coliseum or whatever you'd call that not Colosseum, Colosseum is circle. What was that called? Um I don't know, whatever that Roman sort of like structure is called. I like that. That's a very easy look. And again with a hat as well, it's nice. That that might be a little sleeper for them, you know. This sort of like is it Houston Astros sort of like um flip on the logo? That might be a real, real, real sleeper for them. If they're able to get that just because I I'd imagine it, you know, a bulk of their income can make came from just stuff that doesn't really you know, push the envelope too far, but then allows them to do all this sort of wacky shit. So if they're able to sell loads of these little logo t-shirts, the no problemo shirt and the cap, 
you know, season in, season out, then they could, you know, go out and make these fucking crazy uh, fleece jumpers that look immensely good. They fit amazing. I love the baggy fit and everything around it. Yeah, it's just, uh, again, up there, one of my favorite brands out there. I like this little jumper as well. Wisdom and togetherness, very stoic. Um, again, this this fit here on the left goes absolutely crazy with the green fleece, with the kind of blue detailing and the jeans that look like they're tie-dye or some kind of bleached. Again, I wonder if this is a collaboration that New Balance said they're wearing. Maybe, isn't it? The boots, again, I like them from a the side profile. I'm just not finding them from the front. Maybe because they're, they're just a sample size and the girl isn't actually a size 8. I don't know how, but what do you know what I mean? Because they look a bit big. I'm not too sure. But again, one of my favorite brands out there. I recommend you check them out. Loads of cool stuff from this collection. Um, spring summer 20 uh spring or well, spring summer yeah spring summer 2020 out there it's going to be available soon I'm, I'm imagining but yeah check them out one of my favorite brands out there especially from london so support those guys if you can 